Hey traders, and welcome to another episode of Smart Risk. Today in this video, we are going to talk about a great order block trading strategy based on a specific type of order block, with a high win rate that will pave your way to becoming a profitable trader and increasing your success in the market. We'll walk you through this specific trading strategy step by step, breaking down the key points and all concepts that you need to master this advanced trading strategy, such as candlestick patterns, key rules and criteria that elevate an order block to a high probability trade. We always appreciate your support, so please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel if you are new. See you after intro. Welcome back traders. So, let's get started. In this advanced tutorial, we are going to explain a specific order block model and share all the tips and details you need to know to easily identify and take advantage of this special order block in your trading. So, make sure that you don't skip any part of this video and watch carefully. Now, let's start with the basics. What is the steady base order block? The steady base order block is a supply or demand occurs inside a specific zone that price has experienced a temporary pause in the market. It simply refers to an area where price is accumulated or consolidated in an apparent and clean uptrend or downtrend. The key to identifying a steady base order block is that price must be in an apparent or clear uptrend or downtrend. For example, in these structures, the price has created a bullish and bearish steady base order block since we have two accumulation areas where the price has made an apparent uptrend and downtrend. The bearish or bullish steady base order blocks have great potential to reverse the price if price taps into them. However, here in this structure, we cannot consider it as a steady base order block even if price forms a valid candlestick pattern of the steady base order block within the accumulation area because price is choppy we could not recognize a clear trend for it easily. However, if price creates a structure like this in the continue, it can be identified as a steady base order block because we can consider it as the starting of a downtrend, which is about to form in the market's next movement, hence upon one condition. If it has the right candlestick form of the steady base order block. Now that we have a general understanding of steady base order blocks and their definitions, Let's proceed to the next topic and discuss how to identify a steady base order block in terms of a candlestick. To identify a valid steady base order block from a candlestick perspective, we need to consider multiple rules and criteria. A candlestick steady base order block is a pattern when the price experiences a temporary pause within at least a four candle sequence or more, where each candle couldn't close above or below the previous candle's range. For example, here in this bullish scenario, we can see that the price is in a clear uptrend, and we have a four candle sequence where none of the candles could close above or below the previous candle's range. For example, this red second candle couldn't close below the first candle, the third candle couldn't close above the second candle, and finally the fourth candle couldn't close below the third candle. This results in a four candle sequence where none closed outside the range of the others, indicating a pause within this sequence. Please note that within a candle series, the third candle may close above or below the first candle, or the fourth candle may close above or below the range of the second candle, yet we can still have a valid steady base order block. This is because when identifying steady base order blocks, you must focus solely on the neighboring candles to determine if they close below or above each other. To highlight the steady base order block, you must mark up an area as the order block that overlaps the majority of the accumulation candles, including wicks and bodies. It is better if it thoroughly covers at least two candles. For example, in this scenario, we highlight the steady base order block in a way that completely covers three candles and most of the second candle. The same concepts apply to the bearish scenario. For example, as you can see, we have a clear downtrend where the price has paused for a while within this five candle sequence and then continued its bearish movement. None of these five candles could close below or above their previous neighbor's candle range. Hence, we have a valid, steady base order block candlestick pattern, an associated zone to which the price might react. As you know, we must wait for a break of the structure to be formed to detect a high probability order block. Should we consider the same criteria for a steady base order block? The answer is no. 
there is no need to wait for the price to form a break of structure to validate the steady base order block. As soon as the price closes above or below the highest or lowest point of the candles inside the accumulation area, the steady base order block is formed and can be used to execute trades. Typically, the price does not form a steady base order block candlestick as cleanly as these examples. To solidify what we have learned so far, let's examine more examples of candlestick steady base blocks that we might encounter in the market. But before we continue, if you're looking for a platform to help you stay on top of financial news and enhance your trading knowledge, check out Fastbull. Fastbull is a premier financial information portal that covers Forex, indices, futures, stocks, and cryptocurrencies. They've just rolled out a fantastic new feature, chat rooms. These chat rooms allow you to connect with other traders in multiple languages and share trading ideas instantly. You can join various useful chat groups and even add traders as friends. Easily switch languages and enter chat rooms in different languages. So if you want to give it a try, check out the link in the description. Starting with the first example, as you can see the price is in a clear uptrend before entering a temporary pause within this four candle sequence. After this pause, the bullish movement resumes. Looking closely, we can see that none of these candles closed above or below the previous candle's range. Specifically, the second candle couldn't close above the first candle. The third candle couldn't close below the second candle. The fourth candle couldn't close above the range of the previous candle. However, if we look precisely, we see that the last candle closed above the second candle. So, does this pattern qualify as a valid steady base candlestick? The answer is yes. As mentioned earlier, we must focus solely on the neighboring candles to determine if they close below or above each other. Since the price has closed above the accumulation area, we have a valid steady base order block. To highlight this, we must consider a zone that overlaps most accumulation candles. For that, I am marking an area that thoroughly covers at least two candles and a considerable portion of the second candle's range. The following example shows that the price is in a clear downtrend. We have four candles, none of which closed below or above their neighboring candles, indicating a temporary pause in the price movement. Subsequently, the price closed below the lowest point of this candle series, which is the wick of the second candle. Since all the criteria are met and we have a valid steady base order block, we can now highlight the area that overlaps most candle ranges as our point of interest. In the following example, the price has paused within nine successive candles. However, the last five candles cannot be considered a steady base order block since they closed above or below their previous candles range. But if we look at the first part of this candle series, we can see that none of these four candles could close above or below their previous candle, indicating a valid steady base order block. We can consider this area, which overlaps the majority of four candles, as our point of interest in what the price might react to in the future. Now that we've covered the various candlestick forms of the steady order block, let's move on to the next section and look at the entry model you can use for the steady base order block. We can use the aggressive entry model to execute trades based on a steady base order block. In this entry model, we use a single time frame for both analysis and trade execution. This involves identifying the valid steady base order block and executing orders within the same time frame. The aggressive entry model consists in placing a limit order within the higher time frame's demand or supply area. Here's how it works. After identifying a valid candlestick steady base order block, wait for the price to close below or above it. Then, place a buy or sell limit order at the steady base order block and wait for it to be activated. For the stop loss, position it a few pips above or below the order block, depending on the price direction. For the take profit, target the closest external liquidity areas on the chart or the swing point that initiated the pullback toward the order block. We prefer not to keep our positions open for an extended period since our entry is executed on a higher time frame. A key point to consider, the steady base order block can be used to execute winning trades on all time frames, but the most effective ones are the 1 hour and 30 minute time frames. Also, remember that the steady base order block must be considered as one-time use. This means we focus on the trading opportunity when the price first enters an order block. 
once it has been mitigated, we do not consider it an area of interest for future trading. Now, let's proceed to the real chart example and explore how to execute trades based on the steady base order block. Here, we have the Euro-Yen one-hour chart on the screen. The price is in a clear and strong uptrend, pushing upward with great momentum before entering a temporary pause. Looking closely, we can see a sequence of four candles where none could close above or below the previous candle's range. For example, this candle couldn't close above the range of the previous one. The next candle couldn't close above the previous candle. The inverted hammer candle couldn't close below the range of its previous candle. Finally, this candle closed below the inverted hammer candle. So, we have a four candle sequence where none of them could close above or below each other, representing a valid steady base order block. I am marking this zone, which overlaps most of the candles, to highlight it. Since the price closed above the highest point of the candles inside the accumulation area, we can proceed to execute a trade. To do that, I am going to put my buy limit order at the highest point of the order block, and for the stop loss, I am going to set it a few pips below the order block. For the take profit, you have two options. Put it at the swing high that will be formed when the price starts to pull back toward the order block, or you can use a constant reward to risk ratio. I personally set my TP at a 3 1 R to R ratio because, in most cases, the price immediately activates the pending order without creating a swing point. Now, let's see how the trade plays out. As you can see, the price pushed lower and activated our pending buy order. After mitigating the steady base order block, the price reacted to it, pushed higher and finally hit our take profit with a reward to risk ratio of 3.1. Here again, we have another example on the euro yen one hour time frame. As you can see, the price is in an apparent uptrend. We notice that the price has entered a temporary phase. If we look closely, we see a four candle sequence where none of the candles could close below or above their previous candles range. This forms a valid candlestick pattern of a steady base order block. Next. I will mark the order block, highlighting the zone that overlaps most of the candles and completely includes at least two candles. We can see that the price closed above the highest point of the candles inside the accumulation area, providing the confluence we were seeking. I will set my buy limit order on the highest point of the order block. Take profit at 3.1 risk to reward ratio. Now, let's see what happens next. As you can see, the price hit our take profit and the trade played out successfully. Here, once again, we see that the price is in a sharp and clear uptrend and has created a four candle sequence where none of the candles could break below or above their previous candle range. I am going to highlight this zone, which overlaps the majority of the four candle sequence as the steady base order block. In the continue, we see that the price closed above the highest point of the candles inside the accumulation area with this bullish candle. We can now set our buy limit order at the highest point of the steady base order block with a reward to risk ratio of 3 to 1. Now, let's see what happens next. As you can see, the price immediately activated our order and finally hit the 3 to 1 reward to risk ratio. That's it traders. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you found it informative and useful. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications to stay updated on our latest videos. We value your feedback and suggestions, so please leave your comments below and let us know what topics you'd like us to cover in our future videos. We appreciate your support and look forward to seeing you in the next episode.